certainly it is your boy Roger, and today we are here with Adam. Hi, Adam. How you doing, guys? And, and the uh, the grilled cheese and crab cake company. Thank you. I was worried that I'd butcher it, so you didn't. I didn't have to do it. Uh, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so good. Uh, how are you today? Good. Not bad at all. Very cool. So you've been in the restaurant game for a long time. Like, I, I, what what is the secret to your success? It's actually it's our staff. You know, a staff will make us or break us, but you got to treat them with respect and they treat you with respect. And, you know, it's, you know, it's a true saying. You can be the best leader, but you surround yourself with people that, you know, are not great, you're going to fail. If you surround yourself with great people and you're an okay leader, you're going to be successful. You know, it's part of that. That's the reason why, one of the reasons why that we're successful and plus, uh, you know, our clientele base is, you know, incredible. We get a lot of support from the neighborhood. And, uh, you know, be, and also we're, we're very consistent with our product. Mm -hmm. so we don't change nothing with the recipes, even like during the times that we're going through right now. They feel, you know, the last year and a half, the prices have skyrocketed. Yeah, we could cut this, cut that, raise prices. We just kept everything the same. You know, we had a... Well, you know, move our price up a little bit, but the product itself is exactly the same, if not even better. What kinds of things have you learned over the years? I mean, uh, you, you said you, you haven't really changed the menu over the years. Is, is, is there anything that didn't work for your menu? Or uh... Oh, yeah. Listen, I, in the first two years when we had, you know, when we had the place, we tried different things and it didn't work. You know, and you just got to remember, it's not what you like, it's what your, your customers like. So you might not like, uh, I don't know, let's say argument say for peanut butter and jelly, you might not like it, but your customers like it, you got to put it on the menu. Yeah. And you listen to your customers, listen to your employees, and that will make you successful. So, you know, we did a lot of trial and error and, you know, building the place, setting up the menus and everything else. Uh, a lot of people like uh, for the food truck, uh, like a lot of people here that, that pick up their trailers here, uh, pick up their trailers for the first time. It's their first business. What, what kind of advice can you give them for, for a guy who's, you know, seasoned pro like you? So, you know, my advice to them when you're first starting out, don't make your menu big. You know, pick 10 items that you're great at and stick with it. Don't change it. Just stick with the best 10 items you can have. Start off small and then work your way up. And even when you hit that point, you know, you don't have to add more stuff to your menus. You just got to make it consistent. You know, and don't go crazy or buying everything. You don't need to. You know, you know, the other thing is that with the inventory, you have to have inventory in your store, in your food truck. But to me, that's money sitting on your shelf. You know, at any given time with the food truck, with the restaurant, there's a, there's a, um, a grocery um, store somewhere. You can always run out and get it. So, you know, if you have, if let's say you're carrying 20 cases of French fries, but you really need 10, carry 10. The other 10, if you need some, run to the store and get some more. But get the same product over and over. But you got to do a little homework where you're setting everything up. Um, and just listen to your customers. Listen to the feedback and be honest. Someone doesn't like your food, ask them why. It's nothing bad. You know, you can't, you're not going to please that. You're not going to please everybody. Is that hard for you to do that, to ask them for their feedback or? or no, that's something I look forward to it. Sometimes they challenge me, which is fine. You know, you know, I ask them, do you, you know, how come you don't like it? Maybe it's the crab, maybe it's the ingredients. It could be anything or they just, you know, just don't like the, don't like the flavors. Okay. You take their feedback, see what's, you know, what they say and, you know, take, um, they take a measurement the next three months, ask the customers, don't be afraid, ask. And if everybody else likes it, that's fine. You know, again, you're not going to please everybody in any business. And it's okay. It keeps you on your toes. So you got a Guy Fieri behind you there. Is it, what's, what's the deal with the Guy Fieri behind you? Oh, Guy Fieri is, he would, well, sorry, I'm not great at technology. I don't flip it. Well, anyway, oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. So Guy Fieri, he came to our store um, seven years ago. That's his autograph. Oh, wow. he, every every store that he goes to, every restaurant that he goes to, that's his trademark. And we were on two episodes with him, and we just did a food commercial with uh, the Food Network about a, uh, about a year and a half ago. I've been setting up to do another commercial. 
Very cool. Very cool. Any, any details on what that's going to be, the, that commercial? Can we? Can I can't we... tell you. No? I okay. can't tell you. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's other stuff revol revolving. And, you know, that's another thing, being in business, you know, put yourself out there. And marketing is very expensive, but there's ways of doing marketing that you don't have to pay for nothing. Mm -hmm. Use social media, you know, and branch out. You know, go call, um, go to your local radio stations, branch out that, and keep on getting your name out there. And when you get your name out there, you just might be lucky enough to someone, like you were fortunate that the Food Network picked us up. And we got lucky. But, you know, social media is great. You know, when people leave reviews on um, Yelp, TripAdvisor, you know, all those apps. Listen, again, not going to please everybody, but reply back, answer back. Good, better, and different, and talk to them. Don't be afraid to pick up a phone and call them. You know, and that's the big thing. Like today is hard. People are used to texting, social media, and everything else. Asking, can you call them? And it's the best way. So you don't lose that human contact, <laughs> as I say it. So, and utilize what, you know, everybody gave you. Like there's, um, besides the apps, then you have DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. You don't realize that people, you can use that technology on your food truck also. Yeah. If you're stationed in one, one spot, you could call them up and ask them how it works. It's a great opportunity for both ends. Uh, it's and then, a word of mouth thing with you too, because, because yes. you know, listen to the feedback. Yeah, word of mouth is very important. That never goes away. People say that's going to go away due to social media. Yes, it went away, but still word of mouth is very important. Customer service is number one. You know, consistency. Keep, I keep on repeating myself about that. That's number two. And new employees and, you know, all three, to me, all three are number one. But, you know, starting a new business, you know, just learn from your mistakes. I listen to people. You know, I always tell like, my employees, listen to people if they were in the same situation. If someone is giving you advice about a restaurant and you're listening to them and in the same breath, they don't own a restaurant. They were never food and beverage. Uh, yeah. It's hard to it's hard to put that in perspective. Yeah. So listen to people who have things, who did that in their career. Yeah. Then it'll make more sense. Yeah. I, I, to me, you can't tell. I'm a parent, so if you talk to somebody else about parenting that has no kids, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't want your advice because you don't know what the kids about. Right. You know. You know. You know what I mean? No, oh, totally. Yeah. That's, so that's why we got you here. You're you're perfect for this. So thank yeah. you. Uh, no problem. Can, can I ask about the food truck? Uh, what, what, uh, what, what is the main point of getting the food truck for you? Well, the food truck is you could branch out. Like we had um, another store um, three years ago. So we had two stores three years ago and it was, it's called CL and uh, we were very successful. Kofi came and had to give up one store, another store. So we had to shut down that store and leave. I called this the mothership. And then we were going to buy another restaurant, but my wife want, always wanted the food truck. But it's, it's cheaper to buy a food truck to open up a brick and mortar. And also you could get your, your name out there even more. Because, you know, people come all over to a restaurant. Now your food truck, with the people, oh, I live in Connecticut, or I live in Maryland, I just came to visit. Now you could go to them, you know, and explore, you know, different options, you know, versus staying in one spot. And that's the why that's one of the reasons why we bought the food truck. And you know, we have a couple of concepts that we want to do. We're gonna do a college tour with our food truck. We're working on that right now. And to go to a, um, we have a lot of employees that were pretty much college kids, and they all left us. And they they, they go to colleges all over, all over the United States. So my wife said, let's go to them and surprise them for two weeks. Nice. Yeah, there you go. So we are actually we're doing the you know, right now we're pulling up all the colleges to see if we could do something like that. I'm going to do a college store. And why not? You know what I mean? And getting the word out. You know, it could be anything you could think of that having a food truck. It's not just a food truck. You know, you, I know you guys do um, hair salons. You could, you, you could do anything that you want. And plus it's mobile. So that's the, that's the great part of it is. And the cost is very low. You don't have to pay for electric. I have to pay for electric. No, no electric on there. It's, it's a generator. Gas, I guess what you use, that's what you, that's what you pay for, yeah. you know. So, there's a lot of perks, and your inventory is always low, and also, you know, the overhead's not that much overhead versus a store that you have to have 
so many employees, you know, just to open the store up, give you slow, but you have to have a waitress or a waiter, you have to have a cook, a dishwasher, and so on and so on. But uh, this word gets out even more. No, when we bought the food truck, you know, I'm not just saying this because you know, I'm on the phone with you. The experience with you guys is flawless. And I mean, seriously, we, my wife did a lot of, um, you know, research on different food trucks. So we live in Jersey. We bought the food truck in Florida. And there is, listen, there are food truck vendors up here that build food trucks. But, you know, and at the same time, we could have got it less. But I'm a firm believer that, that, you know, what you pay for, that's what you get. Yeah. So I'm very happy that we went down there. You know, the customer service, the walkthrough, the setup, everything was flawless. You know, we had Chef K. And in the beginning, he was phenomenal. He left and Mario just picked her right up. Like right he left off, Mario just picked her right up. I can't tell you enough. There's like, everybody helped us out of the problem. Um, but, you know, there's a couple of learning curves, you know, with owning a food truck that we didn't know about, each state's a little bit different, of uh, registering the food truck. You know, in New Jersey, it would have been easier to buy a used food truck to register it. But since we bought it brand new, there's a couple of obstacles that we had to go through. And we got, we got through it. So each state, you got to find out what do you need to register a new food truck. That's key. Um, the, what else? The process of everything else was flawless. You know, the generator, which we discovered, that every generator, you know, we buy the generator. You just mount it for us. But when you buy a generator, you got to find out where the muffler is. Because if the muffler is behind the generator by the wall of the food truck, it's going to shut down on you through the carbon dioxide. Good to know. So, yeah. yeah. So now you have to. So we realized that we thought our generator was broken, but it was brand new. And we spoke to the company and they said, well, where the muffler is, it's only about eight inches from the wall. It's blowing out carbon dioxide, but the generator is sucking it back in, so it's shutting down. Hmm. So we had to modify the muffler to blow out away from the food truck, which is no big deal. And you guys helped us. That's what the crazy part is, too. That wasn't even your, you guys' field of 100%, you know what I mean? And we called them, everybody helped us out, meant to uh, a minus place, like a muffler place. They did it in 30, 30 seconds. It cost me 20 bucks. I mean, it's really cheap. So it's not like a major thing, but in the beginning, I thought it was. And what and the other thing was was the state. Those are the two obstacles that I had. But everything else, it was great. Actually, I'm going to show you the food truck. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, just yeah. And we did a couple of other things that we realized. You know, we have a TV outside the food truck. We're going to walk into the back room real quick. I say it. Let's go see if I. Uh oh, did I lose you? Oh no, maybe you'll come back. I, I lost you right now. Can you hear me? Oh, and this is right. There. This is where the TV is. But during the day, we don't have an awning. We put this over it, so okay. we pretty much got a. Uh, to pr- went to a, a you know, piece of Velcro, and we pulled it off. Wow! So, yeah, I've not seen so, that. Yep. So it protects the TV from you know the heat and the sun, but also when you park. People don't look. Yeah, you know, is that a TV when you're not there? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So now this goes over it and it's done. So that was pretty cool that we did, you know. Yeah, smart. And we got that uh, uh, actually our copy is plus. It's a local print shop that does everything for us, a lot of it. And everything else. We put a decal over the window. It says diners, drivers, and dives. That looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. So some different little, little, little things. Where, where's your um, creativity come from for all this? This is the, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of this on other uh, trailers. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, wait, wait, repeat. I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't seen that kind of creativity uh, on other trailers. So where, where does that come from? Right. It's just me being me, just being different. And my, my background was from the casinos because there's casinos down here by Atlantic City. And I worked there for 30 years. I started as a busboy and worked my way up to a VP. So, yeah, you, you know, they teach you a lot of things. To also be creative and don't be afraid to take a chance. And that's what we're doing right now. And inside the food truck, um, everything's pretty much the same. Beautiful. You know, a couple of modifications that we had to do to pass the health inspection, but we knew about it. But there's really everything's here. You know, we have we have used our computer system through Clover, and it's the same one that we use for our stores. 
So, and that works wonderful. And you can use it for what you use it off your hotspot, off your phone, or you could buy a hotspot. It doesn't make a difference, but you know, everything works perfect for us, you know, including the, when the fire marshal came to inspect us, he was really impressed how everything was set up. You know, he was like, he was blown away because it was the first food truck that he checked out through you guys from One Fat Frog. So a lot of uh, people, you know, restaurants who have food trucks, they don't, they don't go to Florida. They didn't do that much research. And they always have an issue with everybody else, but not, not you guys. And I'll show you what we had to do with the exhaust real quick. So you see what I'm talking about. So there's our generator. And here's the regular muffler. But we had to put our hose from here, weld it on, and it comes out to here. Because otherwise, we're shooting again, share the muffler. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then again, it's right back. Yep. Yeah. And there's something, you know, you panic for a second. It's like, what's going on? What's going on? And lo and behold, there's a quick fix. Hmm. You know? But, uh, wait, no, we're 100% like, satisfied. It's super, you know, amped up. What else we had to do? Um, and one other the modification was one other modification we did something small, and you guys told us, but uh, this is for the um, the, uh, the waste tank. Yeah, yeah, it's really you go to the RV store, you get a hook up, you're done, hmm. and that's like literally the hose and that. I think I paid like thirty bucks for it, you know, but it's small stuff to make something big out of it. And then also we're putting rock lights. You know what rock lights are? No, what is it? Um, they call it rock rock lights, but it's lights underneath the truck that light up the truck. Oh, beautiful. And uh, also my wife, we have a pickup truck that tows it. And we did my wife's truck. She loves pickups. So we did her truck, but rock lights. So it comes up different colors. So now we, when we connect it, it syncs everything up. Oh, with music and stuff? And, and with music too. So very cool. Just trying to be standing out when we go to a festival or we do something, something different. Why not? And that's it. You gotta stand out too. You know, part of being a business. You got you can't be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. What makes you different than anybody else besides your product? You gotta keep thinking, keep creative. Oh, I'm losing yep. you. Okay, there there you are. Yeah. I, for some reason in that doorway, I lose you a little bit, but that's yeah, I, it's uh, back. I'm gonna stay in one spot. How about now? All good, all good. All right, all right uh, Adam, uh, you you've answered the questions I didn't ask yet, so uh, I thank okay. you very, very much. Uh, is there anything else you want people at home to know about you? Well, how they can get in contact with you? You've said a lot about us. How about you? Uh, right now, we're located in Summers Point, New Jersey. It's 55 West Laurel Drive. We're open six days a week, all year round. And, uh, you know, we have a good time here. You meet the staff. This is Paige. Hi, Hi Paige. Hi. She's been with me almost from day one. We're going to go right down the line. Mike, this is Michael. He's been, Mike, say hi. He's been with me for a long time. It's my son, Gianno. Say hi, Jay. Hello. And right now, they're making some uh, cool stuff over here. You can't see it. Uh, making me so, hungry. Yeah, there you go. Um. But everything else, simple and make it simple. That's the uh, thing. It's just, oh, sorry. I'm not good at technology. <laughs> you have more than 10 items in your restaurant, though. I would oh, yeah. Listen, we have a lot more than 10 items. No, this is a brick and mortar. So we're going to have a full blown menu. But when we go to the food truck, we're only taking 30% of my current menu. And that's it. And the rest of the stuff, I'm going to do as specials. So let's say we have a pork belly Reuben. I could cook a, I can cook a pork belly on the truck, but it takes three days to actually cook the whole pork belly to serve it. So I'm going to do it as a special. Then we have a crab mount, which is like signature dish. But that's going to be on the menu. You know what I mean? There's certain products like that everybody goes to. That's the products that I'm going to use for the food truck. But the specialty items is going to be on the special. So, you know, I can sell it that way. Um, what else? And that's it, you know. What else? And be consistent again, even with your pricing. You know, people, oh, you can charge more, you can charge more. Yes, you can charge more, but will they come back? Mm. That's the key.
be consistent. If you have a restaurant, be the same pricing as your restaurant, as your food truck. You know, it's eventually going to come to you. So, um, Adam, I, I think we, you covered it all. I mean, you handled <laughs> that whole issue almost all by yourself. Uh, but I, I thank you for your time. Is there is there anything else that you want people to know about you uh, that we haven't covered? But I mean, I think we're good. I, th I appreciate it. I just follow us on, through oh. social media. It's the Grilled Cheese and Crepe Company on Facebook, Instagram, Tri Tripwise, Yelp, all those fun social platforms. And, you know, watch us on TV. You know, we're going to be coming up shortly with other stuff. Do you, know uh, you, you know what date you're going to be on TV again? I can't tell. I, okay. Yeah, all right, all right. I, I, you know, once it, once, it, once it goes on air, then we can be allowed to talk. Um, but you know something, if everything works out, we're going to buy another food truck for you guys. And me and my wife already discussed that. Very cool. Very it's, cool. it's a no-brainer. I'm telling everybody it's a no-brainer. Another thing is real quick. When you go into business, have no debt. I turn it to everybody. Have zero debt. It's a, it's a tremendous relief. Because that's where your profits go. You know, if you can afford it, buy it. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. You know, you, you know unless you're in absolutely emergencies. But you'd be surprised if like, all these vendors want to give you credit. Don't take it. Ne take what you need. Pay for it and leave. So, but that's the other big thing. Don't take credit if you know if you don't need to. If you don't need to, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't like doing that either. Uh, you're you're spot on with everything. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. Thanks you very very much. That was awesome. I mean. Uh, people here are going to love all the kind words you said to us uh, about awesome. us. Thank you for being our client. Thank you so much, Adam. No, thank you. I appreciate you guys. We will see everybody on the next. Yeah, yeah I'll be here. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.